How do we say Audemars Piguet? The Audemars Piguet. Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. This is an AP. This is an AP as well. It's in not a mirror. From Drake and LeBron James to John Mayer and Travis Scott, the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak is the crowning jewel of the most covetable watch collections. Steph Curry, Post Malone, and Jay-Z have all been pictured sporting the one-of-a-kind design. Audemars Piguet watches have earned shoutouts in songs by Rick Ross, Jay-Z, Lil Wayne, and Meek Mill. Even Beyonce promises to. But the Royal Oak's meteoric popularity lies in its one-of-a-kind finish. An octagonal shaped bezel, exposed screws, and an integrated bracelet. Travis Scott and Conor McGregor regularly flash bust down Royal Oaks, and Justin Bieber gifted Hailey Bieber her own stainless steel Royal Oak as a wedding gift, delicately iced out with diamonds. Before the watch's unconventional design made even the highest profile celebrities pause, the Royal Oak halted the luxury watch industry in its tracks. This is how Audemars Piguet Royal Oak earned its place among watchmaking royalty against all expectations. Behind the height of the Mont Piguet Royal Oak. Just like the watch they represent, Audemars Piguet brand ambassadors LeBron James, Lionel Messi, and Serena Williams are considered the best in their game. And likewise, all Royal Oaks aim for watchmaking at the highest caliber. Constructed from high-grade stainless steel, the Royal Oaks' octagonal bezel and hexagonal screws are complemented with a tapisserie pattern. The integrated stainless steel bracelet eliminates the need for watch lugs, and the trapezoid-shaped links taper towards the case. In addition to the original Royal Oak model, Audemars Piguet produces countless variations. Chronograph costs between $26,000 and $60,000 US dollars. The open work, which runs over $125,000, the roughly $250,000 US dollar Thorbian, the offshore at around $275,000, and the concept, which boasts an ultra modern design and advanced micro mechanics for $300,000 US dollars and more. It's hard to imagine these pieces as anything other than an icon. Audemars Piguet's legacy of innovation extends back to 1875 in Valais de Joux, Switzerland, where two watchmakers, Jules Louis Audemars and Edward Auguste Piguet, joined forces. Audemars, skilled in creating complicated blank watch movements, supervised the technical and production side, while Piguet, skilled in final regulation of watches, focused on company management. In the years that followed, Audemars Piguet created the first minute watch repeater in 1892 and sold it to Louis Brandt and Frère, current day Omega. In 1899, Audemars Piguet manufactured a pocket watch called Grand Complication. 1934 then saw Audemars Piguet produce the world's first skeleton watch, quickly followed by the thinnest wristwatch made to date in 1946. After just about a century in business, Audemars Piguet was at a crossroads. Luxury watchmaking was dominated by Patek Philippe and Rolex. Sport watch customers opted for cheaper, hardier quartz watches over finely crafted mechanical Swiss watches. Audemars Piguet acted quickly. Legend has it the company gave Swiss watch designer and artist Gerald Genta only 24 hours to develop the design for a steel, waterproof luxury sports watch. He took inspiration from deep sea diving helmets for the unconventional watch shape and exposed screws. When it first released, the Royal Oak left many critics and watch collectors scratching their heads. It took three years for Audemars Piguet to sell a thousand units, but in time, the Royal Oak became a modern icon. It is now estimated that Royal Oaks account for 90% of the company's sales. They found their first customer in the Shah of Iran, Mohammad Reza Pahlavi. Positioning their watch as an innovative, timeless piece for the richest, most discerning collectors turned out to be a savvy play, and sales began to turn upward. Audemars Piguet continued expanding its Royal Oak collection and growing its base of loyal, high-profile collectors. To commemorate the 20th anniversary of the watch's release, the company debuted the 42mm Royal Oak Offshore in 1993. The company invited Jay-Z to design his own Royal Oak Offshore in 2004, and later extended the offer to LeBron James in 2013. The durability and heft of the watch set a new standard that consumers can expect in a fine timepiece. It would have been easy for Audemars Piguet to walk away from the watch after three years of lackluster sales, but the company stuck to its guns, believing, even if no one else did, that watch collectors wanted something different, and history proved them right. Behind the Height, Audemars Piguet Royal Oak.